The behaviors of an organism describe how it reacts to specific situations. So this turtle pulling in its head and its arms when it's scared, or these students raising their hands to answer a question. Those are behaviors and their responses to specific situations. Some behaviors are inherited from their parents. We call these behaviors instincts. Some animals like horses or cows are able to walk just after birth. They don't have to learn or be taught how to walk. They just know how to walk and it's an instinct. The same thing with birds building a nest. Birds are not taught to build a nest. They just know how to do it. They build that nest instinctively. These behaviors are inherited from their parents. Spinning a web is something that spiders do instinctively. They just know how to spin the web from birth. And the same thing with many insects that sting. They're not taught to sting. They just react and sting when they're threatened. These are behaviors that they inherited. So behaviors that animals inherit are things that help them to stay alive from birth. These are instinctive behaviors that do not have to be learned. Organisms inherit the ability to do these things. So eating, swallowing, chewing, and digesting food, all of those things are things that have to happen from the day an animal is born or it won't survive. They're instinctive, so they do not have to be taught. Drinking, dreaming, panting, and sweating are also instinctive behaviors. These are things that are not learned. They can be done from birth. Learned behaviors are behaviors that are learned through experience. So you're not born being able to read or write or send a text message. You have to learn how to do all of those things. Driving a car is another learned behavior. You have to learn all of the rules and how to work the car. You're not just born being able to do that. And riding a bicycle is another thing that requires learning. So riding a bicycle is a learned behavior. Now, while chewing and swallowing and digesting food are all inherited behaviors, being able to use a fork or a spoon to eat is something that you have to learn how to do. Little babies can't use a fork to eat their food, so that has to be learned. The same thing with animals begging for food. They learn that if they beg, they can get more food. That's not something that they're born doing. They learn that behavior. And many animals learn where to get food. So even though these organisms inherit the ability to eat, they actually learn where feeders are or where they can get food. So coming to the same place for food each day is a learned behavior. These animals have learned that there's always food in the same spot. And so that's where they come. And while we inherit the ability to smell, identifying a scent is a learned behavior. So here I am smelling the scented marker. Now being able to smell is something that I was born with, but if I'm going to be able to tell whether I'm smelling a strawberry or watermelon or raspberry scented marker, well, that's a behavior I have to learn. I have to learn to identify scents and tastes. Those are things that come from experience. We can also teach animals to do tricks, but the animals have to learn these behaviors. This seal isn't able to balance a ball on its nose from birth. That's something it had to learn. And this tiger wasn't born jumping through hoops. It has been trained to jump through the hoops. That is a learned behavior. So any tricks that we teach animals, those animals have learned. They are learned behaviors. So I hope this video has helped you understand the difference between inherited and learned behaviors. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.